<laughs> Going on to our topic for today. Independence. I feel like it's so like pretentious to be like, oh yeah, we're independent people. Or like we're like independent women who don't need a man. <laughs> Okay, but our last video was like, oh, let's discuss modern art. <laughs> when I studied abroad in France, that was like my first time like living so far from home. Um, and I feel like it was fine because like my parents like really emphasized like me being independent. They're kind of like, if you want something like fine, but like you have to do it yourself. Um, so like when I needed to like apply for my visa for like staying in France for so long, they like made me like take the day off school and like go to San Francisco to like the embassy by myself which was like spooky like even like I feel like the level of like spooky things goes from like um talking to people your own age doing like government stuff like <laughs> like your driver's license and like passport stuff and then top of the list calling the de like the doctor's office <laughs> so they made me go to the embassy by myself um when it was kind of like spooky because like the lady was like speaking French with me because it was like the French consulate and I was like ah uh, uh, bonjour <laughs> like when I went to France there was kind of like a bit of like a culture clash because I was so used to like being independent and like there was this one time I took the like train by myself to meet up with friends in like a neighboring city it was like maybe like I don't know 45 minutes away or something which is like the same as going to San Francisco basically so I didn't tell them that I was like taking the train alone because I assumed that like that was fine like it wasn't something worth mentioning and then I like mentioned it to them in conversation and they got really pissed that I took the train alone because they were like what if you'd like passed out or like something had happened to you and then like we wouldn't have known blah 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 and then like yeah it was just kind of like different because like that seems like it's like not a big deal at all to me um but for them it was like how could you have done this and I feel like for like college like my parents like have no clue what like classes I'm taking or like what I'm doing really um yeah and like for like flights and things like I'm responsible for like booking them myself and like if my parents can't come to pick me up then I'm like responsible for getting home myself um and I guess like like with moving in and stuff like my parents like would not have offered to like come and like help me move in which like I don't think they really needed to anyway um mm -hmm. so I guess it's just kind of like very much like yeet See, like the first international trip I took on my own was when I was I think 13 into China which was like not that bad because it was just like I had relatives there then also I was like doing this like camp thing there so it was kind of just like the only parts that I was really truly alone was like the flights there and back and also just like on the trains in between um and I thought like I honestly wasn't that spooked maybe I should have been like as a 13 year old with like minimal Chinese knowledge but um, I thought it was really fun. And I feel like traveling alone, another part that I love is like, I think I'm much more open to speaking with like locals and strangers and also like people, actually it's like kind of like a good and a bad thing. Like people are more open to like approaching you and speaking to you. Cause it's like, you're just like one person instead of like a whole group, which is like, it's good in some senses where you can like make new friends, but also just like creepy people living in DC. I feel like that was the first time actually like living by myself and not, in like a dorm with like RAs and adults who can who are like there just as like backup but um yeah I think that was it's just so nice to just like have everything like I could make all the decisions for every single part of my life and it was just like very refreshing but also at the same time it was like wow I have so much control <laughs> over everything so I feel like that has made me also less not necessarily scared but I don't really care if I'm like alone for long periods of time even if it's just like, oh, even if it's our, um, like, even if I'm just like, oh, I want to do something, like go to a coffee shop and study, I'm like, oh, I'll just go by myself, especially like, because I work better that way, but also like, I feel like I don't necessarily need the company, like I don't feel insecure about like sitting in a restaurant by myself. It did take a little bit of time um, to get used to, especially like eating by myself, because I'd always be like, ah, oh, like, should I FaceTime someone, like, should I bring a book? But now I just like like bring a book, sit there, and it's like fun and enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel that like when I traveled alone this summer in Europe, um, I like ate a lot of meals by myself, which is kind of like they'd always be like, oh, like I'd be like table for one, and they'd be like, oh, <laughs> and I was always like, oh, okay. Um, so I feel like that was like something that I had to get over because I was like, oh, 
like again like you said I was like should I should I like FaceTime someone or should I like look at my phone the whole time or something um but I still kind of had like an issue with eating alone in the dining hall like I kind of just like don't oh, yeah. do it I don't know why because I feel like it's like very acceptable to eat alone in the dining hall and people do it all the time especially when it's like you just like no one's like schedule lines up with you or whatever like and or you just need to eat really quickly but for some reason I just like can't make myself eat alone in the dining hall like I think I've done it like once this year like all the freshman year I like never ate alone in the dining hall I would just uh-huh. like not eat yeah I feel the same way it's like for some reason even though eating out in the restaurant is like in a public area I feel like in some sense it's like less scary because it just like strangers around you but like in a dining hall I think it's probably because it's like oh there are so many students my age that I could be friends with yet I am not eating with any of them <laughs> do you think that like your parents made you independent or like did you just were you just born that way <laughs> I mean I don't think I was like a very independent baby <laughs> like I popped out and I was like time to go on my own I definitely think also being like like the old eldest child I think also because I was always like oh like not only was I like taking care of myself but also like my younger brother um but yeah I feel like my parents were always just like very like lax in terms of a lot of things like they let me like as a kid I remember just like biking several miles to the library by myself which like looking back I was like oh you know there were many cars in those streets (laughs) but like they're like you know you'll be fine also it was like you know safe neighborhood sometimes like I think because they're so busy my parents would like forget about like appointments and stuff so I'd always like remind them (laughs) but also whenever they'd want me to like like they'd want I need them to sign a form they'd always just ask me to summarize it because they didn't want to read it (laughs) so then (laughs) then I'd have to read all these like long forms from like the school and then like be like this is what it's for so I think in a sense they always wanted me to be like to take responsibility for everything I did even when I was a kid and I think that was like at first, I was like, oh my god, like, I'm, I'm like, six, like, why are you making me do this? But, like, now I'm, like, very grateful, because I'm like, you know, I can handle these things, and I can read documents, and it's not that big of an issue. <laughs> Ashley, 19, can read documents. I feel like we reference that Vine in, like, all of our videos. <laughs> it's like that Vine and Taylor Swift. <laughs> our, our two personality traits. <laughs> I feel like my parents... Okay, do you remember, like, having a... Oh, we didn't go to the same middle school. But for science, we had this thing called, like, a W-2. And, like... Oh, yeah. Did you have these W-2s? Is that the, is that the different from, like, the W-2 you felt? For the ta- Yeah, it's different. Okay, um, never mind. <laughs> it was, like, this, like, one... You get it every week. And it was, like, this week we have learned about this. This is the homework your child has for this week. This is, like, what we're going to do next week. And your parent had to, like, sign it to verify that they'd read it. Oh, I'd always <laughs> I always signed my parents too. <laughs> sometimes they would read them, and sometimes they'd be like, "Can't you just tell me what it's about?" So I'd be yeah. like, "It's the same thing, like every single week." So did they ever ask you to sign on their behalf? Sometimes yes. They'd be like, "Oh, like if they're like cooking, they'd just be like, just sign." I'd be like, "Okay." That just be like, I'd always get a piece of paper and like practice a few times, <laughs> and then I'd like forge it for real. Maybe that's like a very Asian parent thing, dude senior year yeah. second semester after I gotten into BU and you know wanted uh-huh. to excuse myself from as many classes as possible <laughs> or sometimes if I just like didn't feel like going my parents would like they would like be fine with excusing me but they didn't want to write the email so I would write the email and come up with like a different excuse I like went between like not feeling well orthodontist office and doctor's office I would like rotate between the three excuses <laughs> draft the email like send them the email to like send it to which is like attendance at like PAUSD or whatever and then they would just copy and paste and then like BCC me so I even wrote my own like excuse notices I'm glad you were really taking care of your health that semester Angelina yeah I think I also used like mental health day or something like that I feel like what kind of frustrates me is that some of my college classes are like very high school and that they're like now your draft is, like, your outline is due, and now your draft is due, and now we're going to do peer review, and now we're going to turn in our final draft. I'm like, this isn't high school. Like, if we want to learn the material, like, we'll learn it. And if we don't, then, like, that's on us for, like, wasting our tuition. Like, you don't have to be, like, no laptops in class because it's distracting. Because, like, it can be distracting, but, like, if you don't want to learn, you're going to be on your phone anyway. So, like, you just need to be, like, independent and, like, get the bread if you want the bread. And, like, don't get the bread if you don't. (laughs) everyone should like 
not fend for themselves because that sounds really mean but i'm also like you should kind of be like you know doing things for yourself like if you if you are like unsure or something like look it up in the syllabus or like go to office hours like if you need something obtain thing <laughs> i don't know i feel like it's very yeah, like <laughs> yes um also like with drinking i feel like can be a big factor in terms of like being independent like you know like know your limit and like don't always be the one that people have to take care of like you get like one free pass and then after that it's like well you should have learned yeah but of course we don't know that because we haven't turned 21 <laughs> yes so it, I guess that's just like a future yeah in theory <laughs> in theory if yeah. you were to drink <laughs> but also like a lot of just like basic adult things like I feel like everyone should know how to like make at least one meal for themselves and do like basic cleaning I don't know I've like been surprised not like personally I feel like I've had like roommates this year and everything like we all contribute and it's all fine but, like, I've just heard stories about, like, people who don't know how to, like, wipe the counter and they kind of just, like, brush up crumbs and they're like, it's clean. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know? Or if it's, like, they literally do not know how to make or, like, fry an egg or, like, make eggs, which I'm like, you just put it, you just turn it on and, like, plop it in. <laughs> I'm just glad that even though I'm not, like, master chef or something, like, if I was plopped in the middle of nowhere with a gross, like, with some food, I can, like... <laughs> <laughs> survive that reminds me of like there's like a chinese like fable i don't know if it's a fable but it's like about this like really incompetent kid and his parents go off to like vacation somewhere so they make him this like huge like big what's it called not a tortilla but just like a big like bread it's <laughs> like around and they hang it around his neck because they're like okay this is enough food for like the two days we're gone and then they come back and he's like dead because he didn't even have the independence to like rotate it so he just ate it until like, to, like his mouth couldn't reach it anymore and I think about that a lot this sounds like something that would happen to Nala <laughs> shit talk her own dog also I found it very amusing that you used the verb plop for an egg and then used it to describe yourself <laughs> it was just imagining like your head as like an egg and like plop yeah, I was gonna say in London when we um when I studied abroad, <laughs> we didn't have meal plans, so we had kitchens that like there were like two kitchens on a floor and maybe like ten or twelve people to a kitchen, and some people like did not know how to like wash the dishes or like use a dishwasher, like you know like how you're supposed to like rinse off the dishes and then put them in the dishwasher so it doesn't like clog the dishwasher. Some people would just like either they just like would leave them there. I literally heard this one kid in the morning go like oh, it's so funny how whenever I leave dishes in the sink, they get magically cleaned. And I'm like, they don't, it's not magic. It's other people putting them in the oh dishwasher. Um, or like, um, I think like kind of like an underrated skill that I don't have yet is like knowing how to look at what's in a fridge and just make a meal out of that instead of being like, I need to buy this and this and this in order to like make this, but then be like, oh, if I don't have this one ingredient, I guess I have no meals. Um, so, like, I want to get better at that, but I don't have a kitchen. Um, and then also, people just, like, not knowing how to, like, boil things. Because I feel, I feel like if you know how to boil things, you can make, like, rice, you can make pasta, you can make hard-boiled eggs, and, like, there you go. That's a meal. And then chop up, like, a cucumber. And, like, you got your vegetables. Rice, pasta, an egg, and a cucumber. <laughs> I love beef. <laughs> Health yes, you can also drink a glass of milk. You got like all the food groups. <laughs> Delicious. Gordon <laughs> Ramsay is quaking. Bone out the teeth. <laughs> Another thing that really irritates me was when people ask questions that they can very easily Google instead of asking someone I know. <laughs> was like, how do I change my profile picture on Facebook? And I'm like, why don't you just Google that? Like, why would you ask me? Like, Facebook definitely has, like, a help article or, like, something. Or, like, questions that are just, like, how do we get there? And I'm like, oh. sounds like a question for Google Maps. <laughs> how was living by yourself? Did you have any, like, I don't know, like, conflicts with roommates? Or, like, how did you, like, get your house or your apartment? 
Uh, the first. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait. God, Tyler, <laughs> you're like this girl kept putting her clothes on my bed. <laughs> oh my god! Like, over the summer, um, she was like moving in the first day, and then I was like, you know, when you move in, you have your stuff everywhere. It's like fine. But I like came back, and her like dirty shoes were like on my white comforter, and I was like, and then I like I don't know. But then she saw me and took it off. So I was like, at least she knows. But then she kept like doing that over and over. So I was like, I don't know what you're. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. I was just like, she was a nice person overall. <laughs> I feel like it hasn't, um, like finding housing. Let's see, like DC, I like asked my coworkers, and they like recommended places. Um, and then here, it was just like Facebook or like friends of friends, which was like, I guess I was like lucky. I feel like, I don't know, housing is kind of rough though. I think a lot of people, like, you hear about all these, like, Craigslist scams, but I've heard of people who've, like, gotten really, really good deals off of Craigli Craigslist, even if they have, like, really sketchy things, they just, like, show up and just, like, show up with a friend just in case you get, like, murdered, then at least it's, like, two of you together. Um, and then, um, and then tour. I don't know, I've, like, heard, like, people have given me a lot of advice, but also, like, um, especially if you're trying to find housing not where you are, um, also just like skyping or facetiming the landlord is also a good way to see it instead of just like depending on photos so hot tip but um i don't know i feel like i haven't really like i'm glad next do you have to search for housing next year because we do i don't have to but i think i want to live off campus because i pay so much for the dining plan that i don't use it's like 18 dollars a meal and i like oh. never like eat in it and i just eat out so that's like basically like 36 dollars a meal like the meal cost like the sunk cost of the meal plan and like the cost of the food that i'm getting um so i want to move off campus but for us i don't think people use craigslist i think it's usually like you ask around for your friends um especially if because like most people i feel like don't live in the same apartment two years in a row so like you can ask like yeah. their landlord to see if there are any openings or um the really nice like um dorms here people get pulled in so you can also like ask to see if like people that are seniors who are graduating can like pull you into like their old apartment and you can like get that um but I don't think anyone really uses Craigslist I know some people get like brokers but then you have to pay like a really big broker fee so like the people that I was talking to just recommended just like finding out who the landlord is and talking to them directly instead of going through a broker but like I don't know it still kind of like spooks me because I feel like it's just like I don't know like the word sublet just kind of like <laughs> it scares me but I think I'm probably gonna sublet because I'm trying to study abroad in Paris spring semester of next year um so it might just make more sense for me to sublet um someone else's apartment for the fall so that I don't have to like deal with like housing and stuff and I can just like eat I don't know do you talk about like money with your parents yeah I feel like like over the summers or like whenever I'm like it actually like interning or working I basically cover everything by myself like if I have a steady income but now during the school year it's kind of just like I do have it's like very it's not like it's very sporadic and it's based on like what like um so I feel like they've kind of covered it but I kind of I do want to be like more financially independent during the school year because I feel really bad you know <laughs> but um yeah and also just like because we're going to be graduating in two years uh. and I'm like not gonna like want to be um dependent on my parents yeah i feel that too i was watching um elena T tabber's video on like finding like your new york apartment which i like to watch videos of people finding their apartments and uh -huh. i think she pays like three thousand dollars um per month for a three bedroom and i forget where it is it might be in the village i think it's like in a nice neighborhood and like it's a really big apartment but she was talking about how when she like signed the lease um, originally she was looking for a two-bedroom because she already had one girl she was going to be a roommate with, but they just couldn't find something that was, like, two-bedroom in an area that they wanted in their price range, so they were like, let's just go a little bit higher, get three bedrooms, and try and find another roommate, and she was talking about how, like, you have to be, like, a little bit flexible and stuff, but also when you sign the lease, you have to put down basically, like, four times the amount because you need to, like, like, it's, like, the, um, what's, it's, like, your security first and last, and then, like, I don't know something so maybe it's three times yeah like deposit something yeah. like that um and then you have to like for new york she said that i forget if it was new york or la but you have to be making like four times the amount of like what the apartment costs which is like mm -hmm. yikes you know because like yeah. post-grad and like a competitive like job industry and like 
the economy is in recession. I'm a PR major. <laughs> I'm nervous chuckling. Um, but yeah, I invest on Robinhood and on Acorns. And Robinhood is not doing so great because the economy is in recession. But at one point, I made $14. Woo! <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm set. <laughs> but for a while, I had like most of my money in E-Trade and my dad would help me manage it. He basically did the same thing that he did with his own stocks with my stock account on like a smaller scale. Um, but then I felt bad making him like manage it and also like the economy is not doing great. So yeah. I took like all of my money out of E-Trade and now I just have like a little like a small amount of it in Acorns to like or in Robin Hood to like experiment and like learn how to invest. Um, yeah. But yeah, I feel like I want to have some swarm of some swarm, some form of <laughs> some form of passive income. Like, I don't know. The first thing I thought of was like having a SoundCloud album and getting royalties from downloads. But I'm also like, I'm not into music, so I don't know why I thought about that. I just feel like it's so important to start early, which I'm like feels kind of late already even though we're only like 18 like even though we have like less money we have a lot more like leeway in terms of if like we make a mistake it's not like catastrophic and we can like redeem ourselves um in theory also tax season is rough like my parents make me do my own taxes they have since oh, yeah. i like started working and like little 16 year old me be like what the heck are all these numbers? Like the I9W2, <laughs> like all these like weird <laughs> Yeah, and then it's like I okay, what always confuses me is how many allowances I get. Cause like most of the time it's like zero or like one, but now that I'm like independent, yeah. like do I get to claim more like allowances? Okay, here are the things that I'm like currently stressed about <laughs> in terms of like form filling out. I have had my U.S. citizenship for like a month now and I still haven't applied for my passport because I just don't have time to go to the passport office because it's like within like very specific times that they like the passport person is there and like I'm always at work. So like I, I haven't had time. Like the only time I can go is Saturday from 10 to 12 and you know I'm asleep at those times. <laughs> um, so I need to do that before like I get like yeeted out of the country. I need to figure out when... <laughs> to pay my loans I need to figure out um I have all the forms I need to do to change my name legally which is like yeah spooky also I applied for a credit card like two years ago and I received the credit card like the physical credit card but the credit card account is nowhere to be found on my like bank account so I'm like what happens if uh, I use this credit card is it free money I don't know <laughs> Honestly, I wish we could just pause time sometimes and then just figure all this shit out and then just do it and then get it over with. <laughs> so it's not just like hanging out in the back of our minds. But also this is just like... procrastination. Yeah. <laughs>